Yeah. Bye, get home safe. How long you been doing this? I've been doing bra since 2016. 2016, really? Yeah. Well, I wasn't doing like people like I didn't know and everything. I was just mainly doing like friends. Mm -hmm. I'm big on not all money's good money. Right. So I'm just, yeah, I was. I, you ever got tinted before though? Yeah, I got tinted. Was it November? So with your brows, I already know you don't want them too thick, not too thin. You just want your shape and just basically fill it in. Right. The girl who I went to, she was more, it was not really nice, but she was more like a little bit more natural. Mm -hmm. I like how yours kind of gives that like makeup look. look. Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that. Because remember, with, with tint, the darker it is, the longer it lasts. The lighter it is, the less it lasts. But when I say darker, it don't look like, no means gonna be big, black, and bulky. bulky. Yeah. You can't make dark and natural. It's like, wait, I never do natural. I do jet black, you know? Mm -hmm. It just makes you bolder. I feel like one of the main things that needs to be on point mm -hmm. eyebrows. Because it's like once your eyebrows is set, right. you know everything else just flows. Right. Mm -hmm. That's like me. Before you came to my life, men, by the way, men just study you before you came to your life. They just try to give you what they want to give you. No, that's not what. Before you came to my life, you see I go out with my friends every time and get 11 drops. Right. So why would you come in my life and tell me, oh, now nah, we can do this or like have me locked up in your room all day yeah, and everything? No. Not doing anything. No. Not having no fun. Not making no noise. God don't judge, so I won't judge, but personally, I need men to date in their own bracket. I agree with if you. If you see a girl doing her thing, living her life, and you know you can't contribute or do 10 times more, do not bother her. And then when you ask them for something, it's like, oh. You want a man to leave you alone? Ask, ask for something. Yeah. That's it. Happened right 30 for your friend, 30 for yours. So $60 deposit. Be like, Yeah, no, we're not a $60 deposit is crazy for the both of us. Like, what? So, let me tell y'all what just happened, right? Mind you, I was gonna make this video like real aesthetically pleasing. Um, I was gonna do a voiceover, but I really just had to pick up the camera and come tell y'all what just happened. So, last year. I had booked this girl to do my lashes, right? And when she did them, they were nice, but they didn't last. Same problem that I always have. So, I'm telling Kai, I'm like, you know what? Instead of me finding a new lash tag and probably going through the same thing with them, let me go back to somebody who actually did them the way that I wanted them to look. So, we were debating on what we were going to do because originally she wanted to go to somebody else. I wanted to go to this girl. So, we ended up deciding that we're going to do every single appointment together so we got our nails done together we got our lash our eyebrows done together we were having a really good day so when i was speaking to the girl who did my lashes i had told her how it's a scam. what she said it's a scam because why every time i'm saying i'm gonna give you the money when i see you in person it's she's now saying oh let me fix my zell give me one second i'm not doing that be like, tell her if you're not coming in person, if you if you're not willing to accept the money in person, then it's okay. We don't gotta do it. If she really want the brush, she'll be like, okay, cool. And you live ten minutes away. Right. 
Okay, so I'm talking to the girl, right? This is before we decided that we were gonna do the bestie thing. So I'm like, oh, like, what's your last appointment? Blah, blah, blah. She was like 5.30. So I'm like, okay, cool. So then when Kaya came into the picture, I'm like, all right, well, we have appointments all day, blah, blah, blah. And I asked her, I was like, how long is it going to take for you to do the two of us? She was like, it's going to take about four hours. And before I sent the, maybe I said this after, I'm not sure. I basically asked her, I was like, okay, what time should we come? So she was like, oh, you want some? She was like, come yeah. at... She was like, come at, um, come at, she was like, come when your, your last appointment finishes, right? Meaning that if my last appointment finishes at 10 o'clock, you basically saying it's cool for me to come at 10 o'clock because if I asked you and you did not give me a specific time, that's on you. And I didn't even book her through her booking site either. I just sent her the deposit. So she texts me and she's like, um, she texts me like around like 5.08, I think. And she's like, oh, like, what's your ETA? Mind you, she's asking what my ETA is. If the appointment was for 5.30, why are you texting me 22 minutes before the appointment starts? Right. So. Being greedy. Yeah. Oh, my camera about to die. It's not even funny. I can't even finish the story now. I'm going to come back later and tell y'all. to just do a short voiceover on this portion of the video because i feel like the rest of the footage was very self-explanatory however i just had to come and speak to y'all real quick because i didn't need you you know y'all coming for me in the comments but let me tell you how i was supposed to record this video like a month or so before i actually ended up being able to record it but i was getting sick like back to back and i just did not have the energy to do so so that is the reason why under my arms are like so grown out because i wanted this to specifically be in the video however though because i was on a trip i didn't get to bring everything that i wanted to bring with me because i was afraid that they were going to confiscate it at the airport but i do have a more detailed shower routine that's going to be on the way very very soon so make sure you guys do watch out for that 